happens if I try to run out of the building. Does it say, oh, you're gonna, like, forfeit your progress, or can I just not? There's no turning back now. You've saved yourself into a soft lock. <laughs> who, who does everyone guess? Who is the champion? Who is this person that I'm going to face off against? Or 20 pounds of hair person? Oh, it's 20 pounds of hair person. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for the League Chairwoman. You've lost the C and you've become the hair woman? King Gambit, what is that? Whoa! That's gotta be what, like, a Bisharp evolves into. What is Glamora? Terrestrialize it so it's not even gonna be a type of what it is even. Whoa, it's like a flower petal. Interesting. Congratulations, it's my honor to call you champion, Bjorn. Bjorn, Bjorn. Oh man, I can just tell looking at you. You did it right, you became a champion. Any second now. Ah, there you are, Bjorn. You ready for a battle between champions? The stage is set. My all-out power versus your strength in full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. Poor choice of words, girl. Don't cry. I think she's going to punch you in the face, you. You did it! This is legit incredible. You're the strongest out there, Bjorn. Now give ourselves a minute and have a quick break before round two. Oh man, this this woman and her inappropriate dialogue. Oh look, it got an idea. Question is, can we climb it? Hey, look at that. We are on top of the world, literally. Except, unfortunately, we're not at the bow of a sinking ship with Kate Winslet in our arms. Yes. See, this gate is open now. Before it was not opened. Hey, over here. That's like... As dangerous as this place is, that's a pretty flimsy metal gate there. Like, there should be like, you know, steel trap door, 10 inches of concrete sort of doors blocking this super hazardous area. Yeah, let's go ahead and walk in here so that we can probably trigger another super long cinematic that's not voiced. Like, look at all of that power and control that it put into the player's hands, me being able to walk for two seconds. Oh, yep, oh, called it. Scene. Bjorn, you have brought Koradin with you? Yes. I thank you for bringing it with you on your mini adventures, but it's time for me to take it back because it's mine. And I'm also going to charge you rent for all of the time and mileage you put on that poor Koradin. I think I might have died once or twice there. What's wrong? Needs a tire change. Uh-oh. Yep, flat tires, all right. Come on, everyone, follow me. Whoa, Arvin's like, he's like, I already know where you're going, man. I'm going to beat you to it. Whoa. That's so cute. They must be destroyed. Yeah, this poor giraffe rig definitely woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. <laughs> that Raichu just totally disappeared into the stone. Acceleration of the gravitational constant here. 
But if I if I drop down, oh man, look at that beast! <laughs> it looks like a little Martian UFO helmet. <laughs> it's the Pokemon that went to space. It the the Ferrid giraffe is what you put your illegally poached giraffe meat in the refrigerator. Man, as inappropriate as this game has been thus far, when I see three students, upperclassmen, surrounding me in this seemingly dark alley. Here, let me get in the shade. In this dark alley. I think, like, the caption on this picture would be something mighty inappropriate. Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look super ancient to me, man. Look at that. We've got, like, a touch screen. We got a bed, which I'm pretty sure was invented, like, you know, pretty recently. We got an office chair. Fun fact, offices weren't actually invented until one day when the man decided to oppress all of his employees and make them work in small cubicles. Oh, right, we also have a manhole. Those were actually around since caveman days because cavemen had to go to manholes to be able to use the bathroom because how else would they have gotten rid of their sewer? Feel free to fact check that one, y'all. And then, of course, in the back, the light bulbs are definitely an ancient ruin. So that's why there's a bed. Oh, don't look at me, girl. I know you have something bad and naughty to say. Like all of the reviews said, like how... Oh, did you see that? Oh, oh, that's so cute. He's like falling into the rock. Bye. Look, everyone, I'm Tony Hawk skateboarding down this. Oh. And what's really embarrassing is Game Freak didn't finish this, and so there wasn't a skateboard rendered in that. It was like an invisible skateboard. Awkward. <laughs> what is that? It's like a jiggy it's like a jigglypuff crossed with a gudra. <laughs> Or is it crossed with a pyroar? Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. So th this brings up an interesting question. What happens if you get scared half to death? Twice. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. Hey, she figured out the math. Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon? So, like, Mom, do you mean in the same time period that was Pokemon Legends Arceus, which actually has some lots of modern day Pokemon as well? I hate to break it to you, Arvin, but I think your mom has either transferred her consciousness to the past and can't return, or she has turned herself into a ancient, horrifying monster Pokemon, like stolen a page from Resident Evil. After all, the evil syndicate in this game is Team Stars. Stars. That Pokemon, Coraidon, that is, it was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point, Arvin, because I am so much more detail-oriented than you, my incompetent little son. Professor! Rock Salt Pokemon. Now I'm pretty sure it's a Minecraft Pokemon. Check it out, it's Mohawk Pyroar Gudra Jigglypuff! So I would really love to know how La Primera got her hands. Oh man, it's either steel or poison, isn't it? How did La Primera get her hands on this Pokemon? I want to know. Oh, Glimet. Interesting. And I have one of those already, correct? Yeah, yeah, it's the perfume bottle Pokemon. Okay, what the crap? This Dunsparce has like extra segments. Oh, it's a new Pokemon. It's Dun Dunsparce. How do I know it's a type? How do I know it's type already? 
Have I encountered one of these already? Oh my goodness, that is so bizarre. That is so bizarre. That is so bizarre! Oh, I shouldn't have used that attack move. Don't kill it, please. Okay, whew, thank goodness. <laughs> Man, that was like the most, this is the most sneaky Pokemon I've ever seen. It looks, especially from this angle, it looks exactly like a Dunsparce. I wouldn't have even noticed unless it was like on its side and I could see like a, it's the two, look at two segment form, Dun Dunsparce. That is so bizarre. Okay, I am genuinely, sh that one blows my mind. Genuinely blows my mind.